There used to be street cleaners at every corner of the park, back when people made the effort to care. I remember their neat orange vests and their bright, overbearing hard hats. I remember how easy they were to see, how strong they stood as everyday pillars of safety and order. They're not here anymore. I'm, I'm not one of them anymore. I remember how people called upon their services. Whenever people saw just too much trash in the street, they would go down to their local representative and say, Sir, there's too much trash in the park. I walk down every night on my way home from work. Please clean it up. Once that call got made, the city sent workers down to become the park's caretakers. They picked up the scraps of litter tarnishing the sweet sidewalks. They swept errant dust and shrapnel off into the gutters to be washed away, non-invasive. Once the workers did their work, which they always made sure was the best on every occasion, they returned to the city, checked in their vests and hard hats, and earned their rest at home. I lived this life, as did other fine men. But we moved on higher, and no one else bothered to fulfill our empty place. Instead of wondering why that could be, I mourn. I walk across a street I cherished to get to the filthy other side. I find a preacher in the walkway towards the lake. He raises his arms to the sky and with these words reaches out for anyone willing to listen and be safe. I avoid his gaze and come up to the lake's edge, now covering the excrement of our glorious birds, the birds that made their look. I look at them now, covered in soot and dirt. I drop my head down and I feel ashamed. The preacher's words came out stronger as he pulling me up from this melancholy side. I listen. May God bless this place and our history. We live to be downtrodden by the men who call themselves peacekeepers and leaders who fashion themselves as anything bad. We were citizens and in this park we gather in community for the sake of good and God. No matter how it looks and who is here, it will still always stand for our strength in the face of suffering. He proclaimed in great confidence and visibility. I turned around to the corner and let his voice fade out from behind me. God did not or would never come down to cleanse this neighbor, this park. People did. The ones who come here now do not believe in those. I stopped at a crossing, a luxurious meeting place, now a cheap restaurant in front of me. I feel a tug at the bottom of my jacket. Just a rustle from behind me, I conclude. Even in a park turn for the worse like this, no one would dare assume the role of pickpocket in broad daylight. Then, a stronger pull on my jeans back pocket occurred under me. I twist my body in haste. What I have is of no value, but my pride of never being a victim always held greater importance. Standing at the ready, I thought the one who dared threaten the safety of my pockets would regret getting me as his victim. I turned back toward my attacker. But instead of a thief, I saw a very weak man bound to a wheelchair in his place. I still find myself wearing a hard grimace. I'm sorry, sir, but you're standing on my dog's leash, he whispered meekly. I look at my foot and do find a blue and red striped leash underneath. It led to the neck of a pathetic cocker spaniel. The strength of my boot was forcing its head down. Softly it whimpered in pain. Guilt echoed through my being. I lifted my foot and the dog returned to its master's crippled side. If I spent any of my time with animals, maybe I could have been able to tell if the dog was happy or not, being in a ruined park like this. God bless you, sir, the crippled man replied. The light turns green. We all cross the street. Children are in the play area. There's some solace to be found in that. Some hope, too. I see the slot I used in my youth, and I managed to find the exuberant smiles of kids still using it today. I recall the monkey bars I instilled when I made renovations to the park for the private sector, and I find children still swinging on them too. I worked here, took care of everything and cleaned the walkways and grass paths for the sake of future generations. I am happy to see it took this long of generation for them to take a liking to my hard work. The feeling of tears swell up as I watch them celebrate all the contributions uh, my friends made when we were young. One would hope these children will not grow up into hoodlums, I passed by, but I suspect the people living in the park they willingly leave to waste would not want them to. I look across the scene 
and on the borders I see the children's parents blankly staring at their kids, their phones, and themselves. No wonder. If parents cannot live in their children's lives, what hope should anyone have? They would care to make a healthy park. Nothing worse than decay from ignorance, whether it be people or anyone's responsibilities. With a conflicted heart, I depart from this scene to continue my journey. Why did I come back to this place after so many years? After so much time working in skyscrapers, flying across the sky itself every summer. Of course, I come to this place because it is on the way to my work in City Hall. It's a landmark. It could never become a dangerous trash dump. The city takes care of it well enough, but when I think deeply, I recognize my struggle is with the idea of enough. Back in my day, when I was young and focused, enough was never satisfying. The only joy I could find was when I cleaned every corner of trash and dirt in this park. Each day I worked to my utmost. Has this work ethic been passed on to those after me? Of course not. However, could my own ethics being so rare in such a modern world be my own failure? Did I fail in the responsibility of inheritance? Is the decrepit state of this park and its people my own damned fault? No. Impossible. I'm no messiah. I'm no curmudgeon mindlessly bashing the youth of today. I could never fall into such nihilistic narcissism. These people are all in this together, and they should begin cleaning up. I must keep walking. Tomorrow is a new day to keep working. A good day to make things better.